Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Castle Soul, mountain top of the Giants. I want to show you the trick jump here, uh, which is going to kill everything in the castle, including the boss. There's only little lions in the beginning. Uh, but we're heading up right around there. Uh, so from the entrance, mount up, going north. And then, this is the same as a lot of the other trick jumps where uh, we're going to use gravity to our advantage that once we've fallen far enough, everything inside of this castle, including the boss and all the enemies, are going to fall to their death. We're going to go into this little overpass here. Or I guess underpass for us. And right around the corner, you're going to see all the graves uh, with the runes in it. That's how you know you're in the right spot. We're going to cut to the left here. You can see you run down right to this little area here. And what we're going to want to do is sprint. And at the last possible second at the ledge, jump, and then wait as long as you, basically as long as you can before you can hit the uh, double jump button again. And then we'll swing our weapon all the way down. Hopefully we get it on the first try here. If you see an edit, that's because it did not get it on my first try. But here we go. Wait till the very last second and jump. Oh, there we go. We got it. I thought it. I thought I messed it up, but I didn't. So unlike the other ones, you don't actually follow yourself. You know, you see yourself falling. Just watch yourself fall through the abyss. Swing your weapon. And just like the, the jump in the Mogwin Palace, it takes probably 30, 45 seconds of swinging. Start seeing the runes come in here and uh, my rewards for killing everything in there. You can see everything's kind of disappearing. And we're getting close. go back to our grace. Uh, One side here. Oh, well, I guess I guess the lions don't do it or go with the, the glitch anymore. It's more than they want as well, so disregard that part, but it does kill the boss get you his weapon without having to worry about fighting him with his two knights. So I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, as always, appreciate you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.